Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can experiment with local LLMs without paying 5,000 euros for a beast of a computer. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been wanting to experiment with other LLMs, but the issue has always been that until two days ago, I thought that you needed to buy a you know NVIDIA 4090, a uh, graphics card or a mega computer or a Mac M3 or, you know, they only run on Linux, all that kind of stuff. But instead, I found out that you can actually use a couple of different online tools to run your LLMs on their machines effectively. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Hugging Face. Now, most of you will know what Hugging Face is. If you don't, it's basically where people store their models, okay? When I talk about model, what that means is like ChatGPT4 is an LLM model. It's a specifically trained uh, data set, LLM. That's basically what a model is. So once we're here, you can actually just go to the top, and I only just found this out now. There's also a way to just immediately start chatting with some of these models. That's not what this video was supposed to be about. I only just found this as I was warming up for the video. But basically, there's, you know, there's this, which is completely free, and you can search the web, and you can play with a few different models. So if I click on models here, now you don't seem to be able to add any new models. Maybe you can add new models. I don't know yet. Um, maybe someone can answer that for me, but there are some very interesting things here. Microsoft Phi 3, which is a state-of-the-art open-sourced LLM, which I've never been able to play with before. This is supposedly supposed to be very good at coding. I just said supposedly supposed to be. Um, so let's just give this a little go. So I'm just going to say code a snake game. Now remember, I'm not even logged in. I haven't paid anything and I'm just already interacting with an LLM that I previously, even as, as short ago as two days ago, assumed that you needed a 5,000 euro, $5,000 computer to even do. So for me personally, this is a big, big thing because I've been wanting to play with these models for ages and ages. Now, this looks like it might not be working. Classic, like, <laughs> of course it's not, but I did say, code for me earlier to this other one. So it definitely works sometimes. Let's just go with this and we'll ask it the same question. This is instead, so maybe the Phi model is slower. This is the um, Meta Llama 3 70 bill instruct, which also is another one that I've been, oh, okay, so there is a limit. You see, that's how they get you guys. Um, it looks like you have to sign in with a free account. So I'm just gonna sign in I'm just kind of curious if you can keep playing around with these for free or whether eventually it's going to say now you have to pay effectively. I'm just curious about these things. I'm always looking for free ways to do, you know, whatever it is we do. So right now I'm basically talking to what is effectively ChatGPT, although I think actually um, this particular model performs better than ChatGPT in certain things completely for free. I'm not paying anything. I don't even know if you can pay anything. I can't see an option to pay. I don't know who's paying for this. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of confused. But this isn't how this video is supposed to go, but we will just very quickly go on Visual Studio Code and we'll see if the code that has been given is, uh, is basically correct or whether it's uh, incorrect. So what we'll do is we'll right click or we'll file, open folder. We'll call this new. Uh, coding example, we'll just call it that, and then select the folder. And then we'll open up the terminal. We'll right click, new file, and we'll do hi.py. And then we'll wait for this to finish. This looks like it is using Python, yep. Import pygame, so it's using py, which is Python. And we will just see whether this works. Now this actually looks extremely complicated compared to what you would get from ChatGPT. So, I mean, you can use this for free. This is completely free from what I can see. Again, this isn't how this video is supposed to go, but you know, sometimes it is what it is and these things happen. So <laughs> I was actually supposed to be showing you how to get LLMs onto Typing Mind, but I mean, now I'm kind of interested in whether this is 
good or not. So let's just very quickly give this a little test. We'll put this code here and we'll do python high.py. Oh, okay. Do the sides work? No. Okay. So the sides don't work, but it's just successfully completely for free without me paying anything. I'm now going to be lost playing Snake for the rest of this video, guys. So please just bear with me. I'll just die on purpose. Okay, so yeah, I mean, that's absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna click settings here and see if there's actually a way to pay money. Okay, th this is free. I, I, I'm i confused, guys. I don't know why they would do this. This is probably costing them billions um, ju just in CPU and GPU powering. I think I've just discovered something that I, I didn't even mean to discover. So apparently Hugging Face has a chat option which allows you to currently chat with these models here. So Co here for AI, uh, Meta Llama, which is one of the really powerful, really good open source models, which I can't believe it's just been sat here the whole time and I could have been using it the whole time. Uh, Hugging Face Zephyr, which I haven't heard of, Minstrelai Mixtral 8x7b, which is supposedly one of the best for coding. I can't believe that's just sat there. I've been looking for this for six months to use this and it's literally just been sat here the whole time. I'm kind of annoyed by that. New research or news research. Um, news Hermes do two Mixtral is the new flagship news research model trained over the Mixtral eight times seven B M O E L L M. That's just a load of words that I don't even know what they mean. Gemma seven B is the latest in the Gemma family of lightweight models built by Google, and then it also has the Microsoft Phi three mini four K Instro. You can just get these models for free and use them for free on this completely free Hugging Face chat interface. I, it's unbelievable, guys, honestly. Anyway, let's, let's get into what this video was supposed to be about. So if you don't know, Hugging Face is full of models. Now, the interesting thing about models is they are fine-tuned. Now, what that means is they're often trained specifically to do one specific thing. So what does that mean? ChatGPT and Claude, for example, they've read basically the entire internet, the entire history of humans, everything, okay? But a model like Quen, uh, which is this one here, I believe this is the one for coding, uh, something like this is much more fine-tuned for coding specifically. So now I'm not sure if this, this one's quite a big model, so it probably hasn't only read code, it's probably read other things as well, but sometimes a model is only trained on code, for example. So what does that mean? It means that they are very, very good at that one specific thing. Now, what I was supposed to be showing you in this video is how to kind of use a couple of paid methods to get this running without paying five grand for a computer. So we're gonna be using, we'll just use the Quen 70 bill instruct, although I think there was another one from Quen, which was a little bit smaller, which was specific for coding. Yes, yeah, this one here, Quen 7 bill instruct. So I'm gonna use this one just because it's a little bit smaller. I don't really wanna use a 72 bill model right now. And you can press deploy here and then interface endpoints. What does that mean? We're actually gonna make our own API in this video and it's not complicated at all. It seems complicated from what I'm saying, but it's actually extremely easy. So we'll click login here, we'll authorize this. Basically what this does is it allows you to create a, um, open source, it's not really open source because it's uh, through their system, but an open source API point, uh, endpoint, which allows you to chat with this model purely through your own personal API. So we'll just we'll click on in, uh, that button again because it just messed up. And you'll see this does cost money, okay? So it's gonna cost $0.8 for an hour. So if you ran it for 10 hours, it would cost $8. It's not cheap, okay? but it's a good way to test these models to kind of see if it would be worth it for your business or your needs to buy a 5,000 euro computer. Because if you can't use this model better than you can use ChatGPT, there's no point getting it, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit public here and then create endpoint. This is now gonna start initializing. This takes a little bit of time. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna hop on over to typing mind now, typing mind is just a means to an end. In this case, you could also do this with Python or whatever it might be, but I personally just like to use typing mind because as you guys know, I'm not really a coder. I'm just like a fake coder. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the models here and I'm going to click manage models and I'm going to add a custom model. Now this is how we actually talk with our custom model. So I'm going to click on name here and I'm going to write, I'll just write Quen, Quen video. And then icon URL is not important to me, it's just the little icon that you're, that becomes the assistant when you're talking to it. It's so unimportant to me, it's just ridiculous. I don't care at all about that. And then the endpoint is the thing that will come when this has finished uh, initializing. It does take a bit of time, obviously. You're starting a whole new server on a computer somewhere, so it does take a little bit of time. And then the model name will say Quen. Again, this isn't massively important. And then the context length, you can put this up, but it may cause problems. So I would, at the maximum I put this on is 4096. I probably wouldn't go higher than that. I'm actually just gonna leave it as it is, just in case it causes problems, because I am just trying to make a video here. Now, and do you need to change any of these? I wouldn't necessarily change any of these. You might change the max tokens to the same as the context length. I think that's probably fine to do. And then we'll see, this is still initializing, so we'll just wait a minute for this to finish initializing. Say so initializing again. Initializing. That's the way you say it. Initializing. I don't even think that's how you, you know, I don't know who says it like that, but. Initializing. Initializing. It's sound like a... I don't know why I'd say it like that suddenly. I don't think I've ever said it like that before. British uh, Explorer. I don't know if I've ever said initializing like that. Why do I keep saying it like that? It's very proper. This is now done. As you can see, it says running. So we're actually good to go. So what you want to do is you want to click API here. And you just want to copy this link here. And you want to take this back over to Typing Mind where it says endpoint, you want to control V and then write a slash V1 slash chat slash completions. And then you want to press test. It will say nice, the endpoint is working and then add model. Now, one thing I will say is this is slightly buggy. Okay, so there is one bug that we've discovered so far where it just repeatedly, no matter what we do to it, it will cut out after 200 tokens or something like that. Maybe someone who's a typing mind expert can leave a comment explaining why this is. But let's just give it the exact same prompt before, which is code a snake game in Python. Now, like I said, this is going to just cut out for no reason, or in this case, it's just saying uh, that, it, uh, that, that it's empty, that there's an error. So we'll actually just switch back over to the logs here, and we'll see what the problem is. Max new tokens must be less than 1512. Okay, so this is going back to what I said before about not changing anything because otherwise it will mess up. But obviously I changed things and it messed up. So we'll press edit here. We'll change this to 1512 and we'll change this to 1512. And we'll press test, update model, apply for current chat. I will say code a snake game in Python. And there's still an error. Yeah, but now I have to try and fix it and I don't actually know what the problem is. <laughs> I was expecting it to run as soon as I press go, so let's have a look. 1512, maybe just put this to 1000, which was the original one that it was on. Hang on, let's just... Okay, let's try and bug this, bug fix this together. We'll click new chat and then we'll click manage models, edit, or apply for all future chats. Okay, let's put this on. This was on 2048 and this was on 1000. Apply for all future chats, wait, test, update model, apply for all future chats, refresh. Let's press new chat as well, just for good luck. And we will try this again. So code a snake game in Python. Oh, finally. Okay, let's see how this codes. This is supposedly better than ChatGPT at coding. We'll see in this video if it's better than uh, Vicuna. I think it was the model we were using before. Another good thing is it hasn't stopped after X amount of tokens. So. Right now, what I'm doing is something that I've been trying to do for months and months, which is play around with 
uh, these tools, these local LLMs, to see if it would be worth it for us as a company and also me as an, in, in, as an individual to buy a machine that would be capable of running this LLM basically for free, okay? So we've been discussing this, you know, in-house, would it be worth it, would it not be worth it, what could we do differently, we could run um, yeah. agents, you know, all day long if we had local LLMs, whereas right now if we ran agents for a few hours, it would cost so much money that it wouldn't even be worth it. I'm just going to say finish, please. I do actually have a premium typing mind. Uh, I just, I don't want to put it in right now. I just want to test this very, very quickly. It's just very much trying to get me to, yeah. It's not going to let me finish, unfortunately. So it's going to be a bit of an incomplete test. But the actual code here looks like it might be longer. Um, I'm just going to ask my producer to put the camera on me for one second. I'm just going to very quickly get my API key. Uh, and I'm going, to inst I'm going to put it in here. Because I really want to know if this would actually be a good um, a good snake game or not, effectively. So this is typing mind, which I do not have. It must be on here instead. There it is. There we go. Okay. Now I have a license key. Let's go back to the chat from before. Obviously, that chat has now disappeared. So we'll say, code me a snake game in Python. In my opinion, this model looked really, really good with where it was going. So hopefully we can get a full one this time because I really, really want to test this. I want to test it for me, but also for you guys. We just want to see if this is actually going to work. This model is supposedly better at coding than uh, ChatGPT and even Claude Opus. So, I mean, I would really, really like to actually get a test out of this because if that's the case, then we could do a lot with this model, okay? We could do a lot. We'll see now if this works. It looks pretty good so far. Direction changer, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks good. Down, left, okay. Snake position, snake body. I can't believe this is how simple Snake was. Like, one of the most iconic games of all time is just basically 300 lines of code. That's food, keep scoring game. Game is over when snakes, snake hits head. Okay, let's see if we can get a full bit of code out here. Okay, perfect. This looks less complicated than the original one that it was giving us, but it is still significantly longer than um, the one from Vicuna. Now, it looks like random is not defined by PyLance, but fortunately, because I have basic pro programming knowledge, I can do import random at the top here, and that will fix that. And then we'll do python high.py. And yeah, look, that's actually significantly better. Wow, okay. Oh, it just messed up because I pressed left when I was already going left, but that's okay. Let's see what happens if I can actually eat an apple. There we go, my score is now one, two. Can I go through the wall? No. But still, an improvement because it had a little score thing. It was 50 lines of code more. I'm impressed. Guys, that is how you can play around with local LLMs for free. Well, not for free. Well, the first bit of the video was free. The second bit of the video was paid. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, I don't know why you've just watched 20 minutes of me rambling, but you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Damn, that thing that you can just chat with these models for free. That's actually crazy. I didn't realize that. Okay, so... That's huge. I like the little your score thing. Oh, what? They just spawned in the exact same place. I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty good imitation. Let me see if I hit myself. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You always got to be careful of the walls. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, there's no apple. <laughs> Can't do it while you're watching. You get back to the video? Yeah, just give me two seconds. Let me just get 10. Yeah, only goes up to nine. That was so close. <laughs> nice.